Hello everyone! Welcome again to our YouTube channel, Scientista. Please like, subscribe, and share. Today, our lesson is about the evidences for evolution. In our previous video lesson, we have learned that the central dogma of molecular biology explains the flow of genetic information from DNA to RNA to make a functional product which is a protein. We have also discussed the two important processes, translation and transcription. This is our objectives for today. Do you know why dinosaurs no longer exist today? Why some animals before are very different from the animals we have now? Organisms inhabiting the earth have changed over time. Their structures, traits, and abilities allow them to adapt and survive in their environment. Have you ever seen fossils of any organism? Fossils are examples of evidences that paleontologists use in studying evolution. They are traces of organisms that live in the past and are preserved by natural classes or catastrophe events. Paleontologists is a person who studies fossils. Most fossils were commonly found in sedimentary rocks. They were from the hard parts of the organisms like wood stem, bones, or teeth. Fossils provide solid evidence that organisms from the past are not the same as those found today, and fossils show the progression of evolution. Here are some of the hints of evolution from the comparative anatomy. Structures from different species which have similar internal framework, position, and embryonic development are considered to be homologous. Homologous structures may perform different functions in the species living in the different environment, or it may have the same origin but different functions. Structures of unrelated species may evolve to look alike because the structure is adapted to similar functions. These are called analogous structures. Analogous structures have similar functions but different origin. Organs are structures that lost their function in the organism and become reduced in size, known as vestigial structure. Another evidence of evolution is from embryonic development. An embryo is an early stage of development in organisms. Embryonic development includes stages such as blastula, gastrula, and organogenesis. Study shows that species that are closely related exhibit similar embryonic development even when in adult stage the organisms are quite different. The embryo of fishes, salamanders, lizards, birds, cats, and humans are similar during the first stage of their embryonic development and have several homologous structures that are not present when the organisms are adults. Describe the function of each set of bones below. Evidence from molecular biology Amino acid sequences of certain species can be used to determine how closely related different species are. If the amino acid sequences for a certain protein are very similar in two species, one can assume that those two species had a common ancestor. All 104 amino acids in the protein cytochrome C are identical in humans and chimpanzees. Observe the chart in which it shows how many of the amino acids in cytochrome C in other animals differ from those in humans and chimpanzees. Let's try to answer this. All of the following statements describe evolution except in what era can the oldest fossil be found? Which pair of animals shows correct examples of homologous structures? What did Lamarck observe that leads on formulation of his theory of use and disuse? Process of adaptation is one of the keys towards survival of species. Which of the following is not an example of adaptation? Other organisms with close biochemical similarity show stronger evolutionary relationships. Where do most fossils be found? What is the best statement that supports the idea that extinction is necessary? Which of the following statements best explains the theory of national selection? If you are an evolutionary biologist, what definite characteristics will show a relatedness of two organisms? These are the following references. To be all for today, thank you for listening and have a nice day!